get the best record justice then would be to try to support democracy there. And to try to support those over time. I, I think, exactly. You know, I think when Iraqi politics is shaped by Iraqi points of view, there's no room for that. You know, when that started to happen in, in 2008 and 2009, Al-Qaeda was, was squeezed out. In particular, it was squeezed out by the, by the tribes of the West. But, you know, Iraqis don't support what Al-Qaeda represents or what Al-Qaeda tries to do. And I think um, if politics weren't so kept to this, this class of people that, that don't have widespread support and, and in fact serve their own interests, not those of Iraqis. If, if a genuine Iraqi politics were allowed to develop, then um, I don't think that kind of would be able to be successful as it is. And there was one in the back corner, what has she, has she got?
Um, I mean, it's a good point. Yes, the, the, the US government has traditionally used um, private sector investment as another channel of influence. Um, and uh, there are American companies operating there. Um, ExxonMobil has been there for a couple of years. Chevron just signed a contract with Gettysburg last week. And then there's also the private security contractors. Um, the US Embassy in Baghdad still has a lot of them, it's about 5,000 of them. And also there are a lot of uh, security contractors working with the oil companies around the country. Um, meanwhile, uh, the Obama administration is, is talking about establishing a major base in Kuwait. Um, they haven't been able to establish a base in Iran. So, you know, it's not the case that uh, the US has no influence on everything that we've had up the US has more influence in Iraq than it has in Ethiopia or uh, in Thailand or but, um, in many countries. But I think when you compare it to the situation of just a few years ago, the US influence So what we do see is a, it's a significant change. So I've got um, your, your next. So would it be your opinion that there are a tremendous uh, number of external forces that find it uh, in their best interest to basically keep the Iraqi government unstable and divided? Basically, uh, in order to serve their interests. Yes. <laughs> um, that was uh, how the U.S. approached it. That's how Iran approaches it. That's how Saudi Arabia approaches it. People we you can play politics or something. Did you want to? There's a renewed threat of one now, and 
information force meant that the government of France and the USA couldn't steer Libyan politics in the direction that served their interests in the way that they did in, did in Iraq. Um, and so, you know, you look, you look at that, you look at those uh, things that are different in how the US and Britain and Libyan case of France as well want to fix to go. Actually, you know, we have achieved something as an anti war movement, and I think we'll continue to do so. And um, downscaling of the embassy in Baghdad. So, um, Would you care to say anything about uh, the relationship of uh, Iraq and Kurdistan to the civil government as a status? You made a brief mention of Kurdistan. Yeah, this is this is a key to questions, please. The, 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 the question was, um, what's the status of the Kurdistan region, and how does the, that relate? How does the Kurdistan region relate to the national policy? Um, and I, you're right, I only briefly mentioned it. Um, part of the reason I only briefly mentioned it is because this is a thing that gets reported far more than uh, in the United States. Uh, uh, you can tell that it's in the newspapers if you're over there. Um, or at least in some newspapers. Um, the, uh, so, I, I want to start with talking about how people think about themselves, the question of identity. And um, actually, for the, the Kurds in Iraq, there is a distinctive identity. It's different than others in Iraq. There's uh, the distinctive cultural traditions, music, clothing, and their own language. Um, they live in different, different environments. You know, most of Iraq is either desert or, or river plain. And um, the Kurdish region is. And um, Kurds have for a long time wanted to have their own political system. After the First World War, Kurds promised their own state.